welcome back to youtube i have amad again from in-depth tech reviews and in today's video i'm going to show you my top list of android apps for october 2021 in this video i'm going to show you five great free apps that you can download on your android phone right now the links for these apps will be in the description below along with my wallpapers and amazon affiliate links so without further ado let's jump in the first app i'm going to show you today is called epic monitor this app will allow you to monitor your windows machine hardware from your android phone and as you see here i have the cpu and gpu usage and temperature in addition to my ram usage the app doesn't look that great in portrait mode but it's meant to be used in landscape mode to be able to see everything perfectly this app will be very useful for people who want to keep an eye on their usage and temperature all the time to make sure they are within the acceptable limits to avoid any overheating issues so now let me show you how to set it up on your windows machine and smartphone the first thing you need to do is to install an app called sensor stream on your windows machine and you will find its link in the description below then click the green download button to download the setup.msi file once done click on it to start the installation process during the installation process you might get a message from microsoft defender telling you that this app is from unknown publisher and you should avoid installing it on your windows machine but anyways i installed the app on my machine and i didn't face any issues and if you want to continue click on more info and then click on run anyway then follow the normal on-screen instructions to complete the setup process and open the app in the app you will see a small button called the qr code Click on it to reveal the QR code that you will use to pair your smartphone. On your Android phone, install Epic Monitor from Google Play Store or using the link in the description below. When you open the app for the first time, you will get a similar screen with a scan QR code button. Click on it and give the permission to the camera and scan the QR code you have on your computer screen and all the settings will be added automatically. The final step is to click the start button at the bottom right corner on your Windows machine and also the start button on your Android phone. And once done, the app will start showing you the usage and temperature as I showed you earlier. The second app I have is called Anistant Email Address. This app will allow you to create temporary email addresses and use them to sign up for third-party websites or subscribe to newsletters without sharing your real email. So let's take a look at what we have here. The first option is called create an address automatically. Tapping on it will create an email in a second with a random name and domain. Then it will give you some options. The first one is to copy the email address. You can create a new message because this email supports sending and receiving. You can give it a name to memorize what is it for. Share the email address using a QR code and to finally generate random password. And the reason for generating a random password because you still can use this email in any normal email client like Outlook or Gmail if you want. But this feature is only available for premium users and I have here the free version. So let's tap on close and when I scroll down now I have the newly created email added to the list of emails I have. And you don't have any limits on the number of emails you can create. But this is not the only way to create a new address. When we go back to the top, there is another option called designate an address. Tapping on it will give you the option to create the account name yourself. So you can choose your name, the website name you are registering for, and so on and so forth. So by this, it will be easier for you to memorize the address and use it in multiple websites. Then it will give you the option to choose the domain name. When you tap on it, you will see a long list of domain names to choose from. And the reason why you have multiple because sometimes third-party websites block certain domains from registering on their website. And that's why the app keeps creating new ones. And it's better to choose one of the newly created domains to avoid any issues while registering for any website. After that, tap on create an address. Then it will be added to the list right here. And the last option we have is called create an address with expiration. This one will generate a random email for you and you don't have the option to choose your own. It will also have a maximum validity period of 31 days and it will show you the expiration date precisely here in the message. Once you add the email to the list, you will see the number of remaining days before expiration next to each one. Now let me show you how to access the messages you received. All you need to do is to go to the inbox tab, which is the second one from the left. Then it will show you all the messages from all email addresses all together. But if you want to filter with a specific address, tap the menu button and choose the one you want. So I'm going to choose this one as an example. And here are the two messages I received. Later, I can clear the filter by tapping on close right here. Keep in mind, all the messages you have here will be deleted automatically after 30 days. However, if you want to protect any of them, you can highlight the message you want and you will see the word protect here at the top right corner, tapping on it will put a lock next to the message. So this message will stay here 
permanently. This app also supports push notifications, which means you will get notified every time you receive a new message. However, you can turn off this feature for one or multiple addresses by going to the home page and then highlight the email addresses you want. And here you have a toggle called enable disable notifications. Tapping on it will disable the notifications for you and vice versa. And as I mentioned before, all addresses support sending and receiving. And if you want to send a new message, tap on the compose button at the top right corner and then choose which email address to send it from. Then you can check all the messages you sent under the third tab right here. Everything I mentioned so far is totally free of charge, but if you want to get more, you can go to the home page and then scroll down until you find premium plan. And here it will show you the extra features you will get. You might also wonder what's gonna happen if you got a new device and you don't want to lose all the addresses and the messages you have. In this case, you can go back again to the home screen like this and then scroll down until you find something called information of account in use. The app will automatically create an account for you and save all the information you have inside this account. And when you tap on that information button, it will show you the username and password. So you can copy this information to any other device and get the same exact thing you have here. Not only this, but when you tap on linking account settings, it will allow you to link your Google account or Apple account. And by this, you can sign in with any of them instead of using the one automatically created for you and your information will still be intact. So that's pretty much everything about this app. So let's move on to the next one. The third app I have is called Any Tracker. This app can allow you to track any number and get notified if there is any change. That include things like cryptocurrencies values, normal currencies, stocks, online products, prices, and more. And as an example here, I have a product on Amazon that I want to track its price and only make my order when it reaches the cheapest value. To do this, I need to copy the product link from Amazon and then go back to any tracker and tap the plus button. Here I have more than one option. The one I need for now is website. I'm going to clear everything and paste my Amazon link and the tap on OK. Now I need to look for the price and first I have to select the watch size. And all I need to do is to highlight the number in this page by tapping and holding on it. And it says here the highlighted number was successfully found and the number is written here at the bottom. All I need to do after that is to tap on proceed and then it will ask me to give it a name. I'm going to call it a scan watch in this case. And then I can choose how I want to get notified. And I have plenty of options to choose from. The first one is never on it changes even if it's higher or lower when the value exceeds and here I can input the number manually if I want when the value exceeds this value I want to get notified or when the value is equal to and also when the value drops below once you are happy with the notification choice tap on start tracking and the app will add the product to the list of products you already have in your home screen and once there is a price change you will see a chart similar to this one with each and every change as an example here is one of the products on amazon that i'm tracking for a while and as you see the chart is showing me all the changes and when i go inside i can see even more now let me show you what else you can track here First, under finance, you have stock where you can choose the exchange and the stock, then set your notifications. You can also track currencies and choose whatever currencies you want and it will automatically figure out the value for you like this. Here under crypto, you can do the same. And under fitness, you can track steps, calories, distance, heart points and move minutes. Under social, you have the option to track Instagram, which is currently not available as per the developer. It should be available by mid-October. But let me show you what's going to happen under YouTube. So I'm going to paste my YouTube channel here. And as you see, I can track the subscribers count, the total views and total videos. And finally, we have an option called manual where you can put any value you want and get notified every now and then to update this number yourself. And when it comes to the notification, this is how it looks. It will show you when the change took place, including the date and time, the change and the new value. App number four is called Push Pull It. This app will allow you to link any Android phone to your Windows PC and by this you can do a lot. First, you can transfer files, links or text from the PC to your Android phone in just a second. It will give you a chat like interface so you can paste whatever you want in the text field and get it immediately on your phone. Transfer any file using the traditional browse way or by dragging and dropping files. 
You can also activate the floating bubble that can be placed anywhere on the screen for quicker access and it also supports the drag and drop feature. On your phone you can do exactly the same and the best part is you don't have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your PC but it works over cellular connection which is great. Push pull it will also allow you to mirror your phone's notifications on the PC. They arrive exactly at the same time without any delay. Not only this but you can reply back to any notification from your PC which means if you receive the message on any app like Instagram, WhatsApp or Telegram you will be able to reply back without the need to link any of these apps to your PC which is a huge time saver. You can also choose to receive notifications only when your phone is connected to Wi-Fi you can skip silent notifications and choose which apps are allowed to notify you on the PC. On top of this, Push Bullet will give you full access to your native messaging app so you can check all your conversations, send and receive messages as if you are on your phone and it just works as expected. Finally, it has a feature called Remote Access where you can browse all your PC files from the phone and transfer whatever you want. All the features I mentioned so far are totally free of a charge, but some of them are limited. First, the file size shouldn't exceed 25 megabytes versus 1 gigabyte for the Pro version. The available free space is 2 gigabytes versus 100 gigs for the Pro. And sending messages is limited to 100 per month versus unlimited. Also, the Pro version will mirror your notifications actions and give you a universal copy-paste between your phone and the PC. The Pro version will cost you $3.33 per month on the yearly plan and $4.99 on the monthly. And finally, app number 5 is called Reaction Training. This app will take you through a set of mind games to improve your reaction speed and it has a premium version for $1.99 but you can ignore this message and go ahead to play the free games. As you see here, you have up to 33 different different exercises to choose from and the first one for example is called color change. This one will automatically change the color of the screen and you have to tap on it as soon as you see the change and the faster the better. The exercise will be considered completed only when you meet the minimum threshold which is I think 300 something millisecond. If you are any slower the app will not consider this as a success and you have to play it again. And if you didn't finish the exercise successfully and tried to jump to the next one, it will tell you that you have to finish the previous one first, or you can simply watch an ad to get immediate access, or purchase all the exercises using the VIP pass for $1.99. And finally, under settings, you can adjust some stuff, like for example, the number of repetitions in training, and you can choose up to 20 times. You can remove the countdown timer, you can disable notifications from the app, and finally change the app theme. Overall, I do recommend this type of apps to keep your mind fit all the time, and I found this one to be very useful. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the top five Android apps for October 2021. So please let me know in the comments what do you think. And if you have any app in mind that you think it's very useful, please share with me in the comments below or reach me out on social media. So I hope you like my video, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.